New at three, this weekend's Tampa Home Show is taking a walk on the wild side. In between the kitchen and bath displays, you may come across a kangaroo, a gator, or even an endangered lemur. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd is taking us behind the scenes as the animals prepare for that show. Well, this here is Boyne the kangaroo, and this parrot, well, her name is Polly. What else would her name be? Just a couple of the exotic animals you're going to find at this weekend's Tampa Home Show. It's not every day you see a red kangaroo hopping around the Tampa Convention Center. The cool zoo out of Polk County was the first to arrive for this weekend's event. So we've been around about eight years and we've established the zoo and we began as just really as a wildlife conservation rehabilitation center for animals. From Swampy the Gator to Polly the Parrot to Ringo the Lemur, Zoo Director Jim DeBerry takes his animals across the country, spreading fun and education. Tell us about this thinking outside the box approach, going to places a little bit more unconventional for zoos like a home show. Well, for us, we believe we got to get out to where the people are. They get to learn all kinds of great things about birds and kangaroos, but more importantly, they are able to fundraise for the zoo and contribute, which expands for the wildlife conservation. How many times do people say, Polly, what a cracker? Oh, uh, we must hear, ah, Polly, what a cracker. We must hear that at least 100 times a day. Does she like day. crackers? She does uh, like crackers. So it's true, parrots really do eat crackers. Uh, parrots really do eat crackers. <laughs> Boingo will grow to be six feet tall and jump six feet high, while Ringo is part of an endangered species. Only 2,500 ringtail lemurs are left in the world. Sharing is caring, so we want to share the wealth of knowledge. That's the biggest thing here. We want people to learn about facts about the animals, and if the more you are invested in knowing them, the more you're going to care for future generations. I even took a walk on the wild side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. that feels so weird. What's the number one question you get from little kids? Well, the number one question we get from little kids is, can I take that home? <laughs> and I'm sure the parents are like, no, no, no. <laughs> I think I may have gotten a little Gatorade on my arm, if you know what I mean. The home show is this Saturday and Sunday. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.